Hello. This is a video about a plugin made by StudioPress called Simple URLs. Now, what you've got to do, first of all, install and activate the plugin. So once you've installed the plugin and you've activated the plugin, you've got to resave your permalinks. That's the first thing you've got to do. The plugin won't work properly until you've resaved your permalinks. So in your dashboard, go to Settings, Permalinks. Now don't change anything. All you're doing is saving, just clicking the Save button. You do, don't change anything. All you, need, all you need to do is to let the plugin know what your permalink, permalink structure is. And it won't know what permalinks you're using until after you've installed the plugin, you just click Save to save the permalinks. So after you've installed the plugin, Settings, Permalinks, and Save. Right. Now what we're going to do is add a simple URL. Now the whole point of this is you, you can track outbound links and you can shorten affiliate links. Show an affiliate link work. Wrong one. <laughs> so this this link here is typical of an affiliate link. They're really long, ugly links. We're just going to use an ordinary link today. But usually when people use this plugin it's because they're using one of these really long, long ugly um, uh, links from a some, some, when they're selling things usually on the website. So what we need to do now, we've installed simple URLs, the Studio Press plugin. All we need to do is make a simple URL. So in your dashboard, go to simple URL. This will appear once you've installed the plugin, you'll get this new option in your sidebar. So click add new, simple URLs, add new. Then all you need to do in there, I want to add a, a link to this page here. So I'll copy that. Uh, that's where we. That's the link we're going to go to. But if you were using a long affiliate link, you could use that instead. So in there, I'm just going to type Genesis. You can type more than one word if you want. Uh, if you type more than one word, that the link you make will have a hyphen. So you've typed a word in there, which makes sense to you. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as it makes sense to you. Paste your the link you want to redirect to in this one. And then this link here will pop up. Now the only bit that matters is this. You'll you you see this go, um, and then the the word you typed. So we've typed a word in here, pasted our link we want to go to in here, and we click publish. Now we'll just click this view URL to make sure it works. Yep, it's taken us to the site we wanted to go to, so it's working. So now we need to copy this underneath the place where you typed your word. You'll see a, a hyperlink, so copy that. Don't don't copy the bit that says permalink, just the bit that says HTTP here. And it will end with the word you typed. So we'll copy that. Now that code you can use to make uh, in, instead of the, the link that you put in here. So let's add it into a page. So we'll go to page uh, post. I've got a post we can use. I'm going to use this text link here. Just the same way as you'd make any other text link. Just paste the, the new code you've made in. I'm going to open it in a new window. I'll just zoom in so we can... If you look there at the end of this, you'll see this go genesis. I typed in genesis, that's the word I typed in, but what you're interested in is after the go, you'll see a forward slash go, forward slash, and then whatever word you typed will appear there. It says localhost because I'm doing this on a, what's called a localhost, it's a web server inside my own computer. So normally it would have your web address there, so it might be uh, sallyshatshop.com then a slash go slash genesis or go whatever you've typed in here just add the link same as you would any other we're going to add a link to a picture as well so just select your image click the little photo picture there and then same as we always do in where it says link url i'll just zoom back out again because it'll be a bit easier uh, when it says link url just paste your link in there update and then we'll update the page. And that's it. 
So now if we view this post, when we click the link it will take us to, although if you look in the bottom corner there you might be able to see it, um, it says there that it's the link from our website and at the end of it, it says go genesis which is the link we made but when we click it it takes us to this studio press site that we wanted to link to so what else do you need to know that's more or less it oh it counts the links as well it counts how many times they've been clicked so now that we've done that if we go to simple urls and then just have a look at that see there clicks click being clicked six times if we click it again so it said clicked six times we refresh this page say that it says six now it's been clicked seven times if we click it again have another look so it says seven there now Eight. It's counting how many times it's been clicked, which is useful if you if you make it if you try to sell anything on the internet. It's useful to know how many people click, how many times your your images or your links are clicked, and that's more or less all you need to know. So I've made a couple of slides. What you need to do as soon as you install the plugin, after you've installed the plugin, go to set in your sidebar settings, permalinks, and just save the permalinks. Don't change the permalinks. Just save them. Um, and this is what you do to, to add a new URL in your dashboard you go to simple URLs add new type a word in there or a phrase and you put your link in here if it's an affiliate link just paste your really long affiliate link in there and it will shorten this really long affiliate link to this link here and then we copy and paste this link to use it and whenever whenever you use this link it's the same as using that one it redirects this link will redirect to that link Right, so that's it. If you suppose yours was your.com, go studio press or whatever you've typed in there, and you use that link, it will redirect to this link. And that's more or less all there is to it. So, let's see. This is what we've been using, studio press, simple URLs plugin. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.